Jimmy the Lock went and got some antifreeze. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. No, I just, I'm trying to build up a resilience that will outlive all of us. Your kids remember it too. Okay. Um, Diane said that um, the baby's still in there and she's only a four, so I didn't, and she's they could pray for her because they wanted to uh, induce her on Saturday, but she wanted to wait. <coughs> and so she's beating herself up for that. That's not in her control, though. No. You know what I mean? That's just, and she's a very, those of us who know her, she's a very sensitive, yes. takes, you know. Yeah. And um, so, so, but this is what Diane said, even though they said the baby's still born. I still believe in miracles. That's right. Man, Amen. That, that, they come with that baby, that baby up. Uh, yes. Boy, wouldn't that be. Woo! They believe God to the last drop. That's right. It ain't been three days. No, <laughs> Amen. Has that happened? That's happened before? Yes. That's why they were rushing them out there. And it took them a minute before he cried. They got their Right. Yeah. 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 Let's just thank God right now and believe God. Amen. Texas Notes, get book of Titus. You're going to have a doctorate in Titus when I get done. Um, and then I have, uh, I'll give my pastor one, and then we'll only got five of these, but this is heavy stuff. we do one per family. I don't have enough of them, but I'll make some more. Yes. Who's going to be representing? You don't, you're going to rep for this family? Or Shelly B is going to be yes. representing for family? All right. We got one for the Wilson. <laughs> what would it be like not to get b one in, and we didn't, we, we could get them broke into the church? <laughs> She broke in to get some work. Hey, single women. Hey, man. Come on, Angelique. Come on. Are you praying for a distance? Angelique, like, look, I got a built in heater in this chair. I ain't moving. I ain't mad. At um, this is an interesting. Um, say, why Titus? And I was supposed to start it on Wednesday. On Wednesday, but that young man was worth saving, y'all. Yeah. Even if he rejected all of it. Yeah. Okay. Because you know what the next step is. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't care about hurting that child's feelings. I don't want to bury that child. And Mozella, her grandson, Mozella, texted me twice. Said, "Please, please, don't, don't stop. Just please don't. Yeah. Don't give up on my yeah. grandkid. Just yeah. please don't." Anything is better than burying them. Amen? Amen. But that level of, uh, at 14 years of age, is only lead one or two places. So I want to start Titus then, but put this in your notes that, that uh, Titus, the, the Cretans were by the words of their own prophet, were known to be lazy, liars, and gluttons. <laughs> and the, the book of Titus teaches you how to live in the midst of Cretans or Cretans. Mm -hmm. And so he, he sends Titus there and Titus was a companion. So it teaches you how to conduct yourself when you are surrounded by ungodly people. And they have a lot of qualifications. Um, and, and we'll give the name of the, uh, the prophet that they, uh, their own prophet. Then I also learned that in that Titus that Paul quoted this, this prophet. And so... And there's a portion, a portion in Acts where you heard uh, this church to quote all the time. In him I move, in him I live, in him I am with. Him I be. That is a quote from this prophet. Mm -hmm. 
So I learned that Paul, it, it was, that he took something from someone else, but if it was in alignment with how he felt about God, he used it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's for that quote is exactly from that prophet. Okay, uh, so we'll start. We're gonna break it down. You're gonna, you're gonna, you'll be a scholar in Titus. Start at verse one, mate. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. Now let's ask Paul a question. Why do you want to throw off on the people from Crete and talk about God can't lie? And but I'm sending Titus to liars. Mm -hmm. That was on purpose. Okay? So verse 1, Paul says first, I'm a servant. Mm -hmm. I'm a servant. Which means I'm a slave who completely belongs to his master with no freedom of his own. There's an indictment right there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. One who willingly chooses to serve his master. I'm a servant. I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's elect. Now, and then he, he's going to come up with three important terms which focus on practical truths that we can use today. It says, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. So there's three things here. There's faith, mm -hmm. according to the faith of God's elect. Then there's knowledge. And then there's godliness. And here's what's so interesting, and somebody got me in about with this. Uh, his focus on Titus is whether you're a good preacher or not, you got to have character when you're around these kind of folk. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't, you know, uh, your, your oratory skills, it's your character. Sure. These people are ungodly, so your character has to speak before you open your mouth. Wow. Amen. Okay? Faith, knowledge, and godliness. Then move over to verse. Uh, well, let's break these down. So, faith means absolute trust in God. Absolute trust in God. The faith of God's elect. Or the elect are the believers who make up the church. Absolute trust in God. Okay? The second part is knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. <coughs> knowledge of the truth. And godliness is reverence, is active, keyword, reverence toward God. Mm -hmm. It ain't talking about God. No. It's what Coco song. That's why we sing that song. Right. Okay? Active reverence toward God. And you know it's a fight to be godly in an ungodly world. Mm -hmm. huh? And we all have lied on a devil who is the father of lies. And he said he made we ungodly without his help. <laughs> okay. He just gives it that extra push. Yeah. He's that extra additive. But if there was no devil, how I many uh, ungodliness would still be something you got to throw down with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then he goes to verse 2. Here's another virtue, which is hope. Verse 2, read verse 2. In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Okay, now, here's some more notes for you, all right? So what is hope? Here's the Greek word, E-L-P-I-D-I. -I. E E-L-P-I-D-I. 
firm assurance and expectation. That's what hope is. Firm assurance and expectation. So he's, 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 he's dropping Titus off with these crooks hmm. uh, because we're taught, and it's biblical, that money is a defense. These people went beyond that. These people were hustling. Okay? And that word is avarice. A-V-A-R-I-C-E. Greed. Greed. Avarice. That's beyond yeah. money. That's greed. They were hustling. 1995 blessing plans. Whatever. <laughs> A lot of hustle on TV. Hustling. Greed. I don't want to tell you the truth because it'll affect my bottom line. Mm. That's, that's greed. Mm -hmm. It'll affect my bottom line. That pastor who owes a Raphael, it's not even about soul, it's about his brand. So everything is, so they take a, a, a biblical thing which is the grace of God and that's all they preach. If you're a habitual sinner, you don't need the grace of God. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, that's what happens. You hear an overplay of the grace of God, mm. that's because I want you to think no matter what you do, God got you covered. Oh my Keep God. doing that. That's oh called my presumptuous God. sin. Yes. That don't even work in the legal field, does it? Uh -uh. Huh? Mm -hmm. If I'm beating the whistles and talk and he go pull a Derek yard and pop me, okay, that's second degree murder, right? All right? But if I come there before the card game, strapped up, talking about win or lose, I'm taking a Wilson out. That's first degree. I done thought about that thing. Okay? Well, come on. You think the law is greater than God? You can't have some of your mind hook up some kind of deal and think you fall under the grace of God? All right. Wow. Try it. <laughs> Uh huh? So, 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 really so, Rafi said, This guy teaches all watered down grace, grace, grace. I got to build up my audience so I can build up my brand. Uh huh? You know what stops branding? Not canceling church with 10 feet of snow. Ain't no brand today. Either you want to be here or you don't. Yeah. Amen. If you can't, no product. But this ain't about branding. No. Amen. It's called, I owe God. I owe God. If I can make it, I'm going to give God the prayer. But I'm going to need him all week, no matter what the weather can do. Uh huh? Yeah. I need him. So this, so, so this is an excellent book because you, we live in a day of the pastor that wants to use you as a brand. It's his brand, not your soul. If I didn't care about that child, man, I, I, I'm supposed to start Titus on Wednesday. But that child. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the next day to prove it, godly. You ever have a day where everything falls in order? Most of us have days where most things don't. Mm -hmm. the, the next day, I didn't make it to my restaurant till 10 o'clock. That's how burdensome that was. Yeah. To how to pull that child out in mm -hmm. that whole second row. Yeah. Couldn't sleep, nothing. Right. Like, how many more of those I got in me? Yeah. And God said, Don't worry, I got you, man. Like, yeah. everything yeah. just do, 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 do. Yeah. Huh. yeah. If you can't do that for one soul, you ain't got no bit of living the way you live. Amen. That one soul, those kids on the second row are worth, amen, whatever you can. Huh? Yeah. We ain't branding over here. Okay? Yeah, we teach the grace of God. You need the grace of God when you've done your best and you feel sure. Not when you're planning on something. Right. We all need the grace of God. We all hear by the grace of God. We all continue by the grace of God. But ain't nobody playing with God. Amen. Okay? So hope is the firm assurance and expectation. Hope is not wishful thinking. Amen. Ain't no wishful thinking. Okay? Verse three. We're going to break all this down. You'll have a doctorate in the book of Titus. It was a big deal for him to send Titus and leave him there. Okay? Uh, Timothy and Titus, uh, write this in your notes. First and second Timothy and Titus are what they call a pastoral epistle. <laughs> Timothy had a problem because he was young. Paul like, I don't care how young you are, you dedicated. Mm-hmm. 
you're committed. Then there's Titus, who he left in Crete with the liars. You married to Titus, you got to keep him in courage because he is surrounded. You got to learn how to walk with God when you're surrounded with people who don't think like you, who are going to challenge all your godliness. Does that sound familiar? All right. That's how you're living now. Yes. Who challenge. Yes. Man, but you, you're looking at the rise of the LGBT. Yes. Q, whatever. They're going to throw some other letters on there. Z. Yes. Man, it just keeps growing. Okay. Where you can't say nothing. That's they can so believe cool. what they can believe, but you can't believe what you believe. And, and they got law. It costs you your job. Right. Huh? Mm-hmm. It costs you your job. You try to start a business, they're going to come up with three bathrooms for the child that can't decide what they want to be that day. Right. Huh? I'm going to help them. If you stand up to piss, you're a male. <laughs> if you sit down, you're a female. How about that? I just figured it all out. I worked it all out in about two seconds. Huh? Huh? Uh, Caitlin, I don't care about your 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 your, your uh, uh, flotation devices you bought. Uh, first, a woman don't have hands like that. At all. Uh, you ain't going through no menopause. If you're a young woman, you ain't stopping. You can't start. You can't start on uh, on flow. No. If you're the rapper, young ma who thinks she's hard. Yes, something on. I'm pressing it. I'm running that job. Yes, she's harder than some dude. Yes, she huh? But every time of the month, you're a young woman, what you doing? That's right. You're dripping. That's and right. And you can't do nothing about that. Nothing. You shouldn't have said it that way. Well, I did it. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't care how hard you are. All right. You get a grill, whatever. <laughs> you better find you some pads. <laughs> okay? You better find you some pads every month. Every month. Look how hard you try to be. Huh? God sealed the deal in your mama's womb. Right? But hey, but 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 how are you gonna function? That's why I don't think nothing of the Democratic Party. Man, that one girl needs to sit down, but they gonna get on. But that Kamala, they gonna man, 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 man. Tell like you smoking dope and you listen to Tupac. Right. Uh, you weren't even in school with Tupac, man. Just 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 I'm gonna I'm just going to try to be whatever I can be because I want to be the first woman. Okay. First of all, you use your beauty, what we teach our girls not to do. You're 29 years old walking around with a six-year-old man and he was with his wife and he was, you were on his shoulder in front of his wife. <coughs> you use your beauty. You're an opportunist. Sit down. Have many seats. Okay, We don't teach our girls to do that. Took a man. Yes. His name is Willie Brown. Google it. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, right in front of his wife. Come yeah. in there, arm in arm. Uh, I'm young, and, and you're not young anymore, and that's just too bad. Well, well guess what? That's what birthdays are for. You're gonna get old. Yeah, you now you want to run for caught office? Up with you. They caught up with you. Now yeah. sit down. That media's gonna wear you out. But that's the day we live in. We have a liar in the in the Oval Office. Big liar. <laughs> Man, huh? You got, you got, man, you, so, so this is an excellent book, How to Survive in Crete with these liars. You better hold on to all the truths of God you have, amen, and you better teach them to your children, because they have to function in this world, okay? That's the beauty of this book. So hope is not a wishful thing. Verse 3. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. To Titus, mine own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Okay, read. For this cause left I thee in Crete. If thou should have said... Anybody here ready to get left somewhere? No. 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 <laughs> no. Trying to get left. No. Huh? Lost ah. the Anybody trying to get left? <laughs> See, everybody want to talk about ministry. You want to get left somewhere? Mm-mm. Amen. All of a sudden, you know, 
Uh, one of my daughters, you know, somebody want to holler at her. All right, it could be, come, you know, we play it by ear. But do you, do you want to get left somewhere? Well, now it's you and him. You got to deal with these crazy lions. He said the creatures were liars. They eating all the time. They crooked. They eat all the time. They're the worst of the worst. Their own prophet said they're the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. And now Titus, you, look, you see Titus when Paul talking about buy, he... <laughs> Have you ever asked God, why did you leave me here? Right. Have you ever, why did you leave me here? Titus got left. <laughs> huh? <laughs> when you talk about left at the mall, you can call Uber and get a ride. No, you ain't, no, you're left here. Right? A lot of times, you want a husband, but you don't want to get left with him to start no work. Why can't we move up and make snow angels? That ain't, that ain't everybody's call. Amen. That ain't, everybody ain't called to make a snow angel. I'm going to show you. Titus. Paul, verse 1 and 5. But it's called, I left thee in Crete. <laughs> Here's the rest of it. Read the rest of it. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. Anybody know the difference between being left and then being left to do something? Yeah. Now all this mess, you got to clean up. Right. I left you to put order in all this. Mm -hmm. I could have just left you. You could have blended it in. Right. But now you got to set everything in yeah. order. Is this a true ministry book? That's it. In order. Yeah. Okay. It's out of order. It's in, you got it. And, and that is their norm. It's out of order. Okay. It's, 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 it's when, when kids run their pet, that's out of order. When you're afraid of what you brought home from the hospital, that's out of order. Mm hmm. Well, they can have an attitude in your face sitting there. That's out of order, man. Okay. Man, I got left on them all to put some stuff in order. Amen. Yes, you and you got to be in order to put something in order. That's right. right. That's right. Huh? You got to be in order. Left him here that thou should have set in order the things that are what? Wanting means lacking. Right. Just about everything is lacking in this place. Here's a further thing. Read. And ordained elders in every city as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless. Oh, now, now, now he's going to list. Okay, write this down. Paul's visit was brief. He didn't have the time to set everything in order. Things that are wanting are things that are unfinished and defective. Hmm. That's what that means. Wanting means unfinished. Mm -hmm. and defective. All right. Titus was to do what Paul had left undone. I got to keep it moving. I'm going to leave you here. Now I tell you that young man who thought he was ready, thought he'd throw him some jeans and teach. When it got time for me to leave him, he didn't make it to the city. Mm -hmm. He was on the floor in a fetal position. For real, real boot, a fetal position. His wife, who was out of order, but got in order when it was time to do the ministry, called me and said, we got to turn around. He is on the floor right now in this van in the field position. And that, 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 I mean, it didn't end the relationship with Howard Buffett, but come on now. He, everything had already been said. He had to just show up. There he had a job for him to come on. Howard Buffett. Right, right, right. And Decatur, I don't know, Howard right. Buffett. And the one lady, the one lady called me and said, I'm going to be honest with you, Pastor Bala, that man you trying to send ain't you. Right. But he had a word for you. Huh? But he had a word for me. Mm -hmm. The hot delusion you have to be. To have a word for me, but when, out of order. Yeah. But when it's time for you to really bring a word mm -hmm. and get left, mm -hmm. so you were left, you stayed on how to bring me a word. Yeah. Uh, please, <laughs> cut that part off. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are right there. Wait, stop being taken. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that out of order? Way out of order. You got a word for me. You had a chance to bring a word and you buckle. Because it ain't no joke. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
if it was a sunshiny day, standing in front of y'all for 52 weeks ain't no joke. I don't know who received it, who mad, who had received it. Amen. But I have to be constant and get back up again. Amen. And so far, I got up to th almost 33 in the tank. Amen. 33 coming up May 4th. And yeah, a lot of them thought it looked easy until they got out there. Right. And found mm -hmm. out didn't nobody come to your church because you had a, a thicker commentary. <laughs> well, they thought they were going to give them a commentary and get a, a series of books and set the world on fire. <laughs> People are delusional. They are. No. Everybody come to your church that you got a, a set of library books that are overdue. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a fine from the library. <laughs> and ordained uh, now, watch Titus. Now I'm I'm leaving you <laughs> with these liars. I'm gonna tell you, God ain't a liar. Uh, it, just to throw a little salt on it. Right. The God you're gonna talk about is not a liar, but I'm gonna send you two liars. Mm -hmm. They are known for lying. You're gonna straighten all this stuff that's defective, and you gotta go find some other people to put over the city. And one of Titus did man take off and start running. Right. And we only in chapter one. And he told him what to look for. Here's what you look for. Verse six. If any be blameless. Blame. Oh, man, man. I just had somebody who just got somebody told in their family. And the person didn't open their mouth because they knew it was the truth. Mm hmm. We ain't talking about text. Mm -mm. Told them to their face. Mm -hmm. Why wow, I can't sign off on what y'all doing. Perk trying to put them on front street. Just knew they had them cornered. See, man, man, when you come out of a corner, people think they have you cornered, thinking, and you, then you come out on them, they'll never forget it. Instead of, well, I understand. Because you know, silence is a sign off. You know that, don't you? Which yeah. I'm really, I'm really yes, afraid of your opinion yes. and I'm right. afraid you're going to treat me. Right. Man, they had this child hemmed up and it was in their house. <laughs> you going to come to somebody's house. <laughs> now you got told in your house. How do you sit in that sofa again? Because you remember <laughs> <laughs> when I sat down there, they got me told. <laughs> huh? And here it is right here. Blameless. First, you look for somebody blameless. Right. In a midst of a bunch of liars, you gotta have somebody blameless. Right. Okay. Uh oh. Blameless and the husband of what? One wife. The husband of one husband. One wife. The wife of one man. So there's no such thing as a homosexual minister. No. Oh my. They do not exist in the Bible or the worlds to come. <laughs> huh? yeah. The husband of uh, what? A harem of women? One wife. One wife. Whether she cute, ugly, <laughs> that's yours. <laughs> uh huh? If you got. Four teeth out of 32. Ooh. Four left. Ooh. 28 of them are gone. <laughs> That's <laughs> your... Uh -huh. <laughs> you get one wife. One by quarter. Okay. One wife. Now, now you know, uh, I'm, I'm scared of Long time, I don't see it. And me and my daughter talk about me and I, 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 I'm, I'm scared of long time single pastors. Ooh, come on. Okay. Even if you're in a wheelchair, you one day you'll want to pop a willy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, hey, hey. I don't. I'm wrong. That is a, that is a, that's right. Spin it around. <laughs> there is a recipe. You can't, no. There is a, re, that is a recipe for failure or sin. You know it is. Come on now, hey, Come hey, on. hey. Big time. You're talking about long term. Right. 
Some rotten. I ain't talking about scooping. I ain't talking about scooping something up the day after your wife died. Even though it could be legal. All right. Death do us part. It does look funny now. <laughs> <laughs> but it is legal. Uh, yep. All right. The death do us part. Didn't say a day later. Didn't say 36 hours. <laughs> but people would question your motives. All right. You don't have no allegiance to the Hey, 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 hey. But, but, but long term. Uh-uh. No, sir. No. Uh, what's that one dude in Detroit? They were married in 96. We ain't talking about no hell reason. No, re I can't think of any reason why you would stay single 20 years. You're a pastor. Something wrong. It's very much something wrong. Okay? It don't work. No, no it, it, uh, <laughs> if it don't work, the thing you can do. The, the man, but you know what? If it don't work, there's always popsicle sticks and duct tape. Go ahead, Pete. Duct tape's expensive. Yeah. Okay, well. But, but you understand the husband of, of one, it's a serious business. Yeah, it is. All right? Serious business. Yes, sir. Right? Mm. No pastor who's single, we're talking about long term, should be tripping off all the women in the church who are single thinking it's them. That's sin. Yeah. Wow. And do it, man, man. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't do that to people. Hey, Amen. You don't do that to the single women in your church. You don't do that to yourself. Y'all clear on that? We're talking about long term. Yeah. Two, three years, whatever. It's only a short term in that. It is what it is, folks. Yep. You can't make a decision. Two, three years? Come on now. The wrist always sore. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got a cast on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't work with it. Can't work. All right, so so we in verse six. I done messed the podcast up. No, you good. <laughs> if any be blameless, the husband of one wife. He's telling Titus, I'm gonna leave you to set this in order. That's right. Here's what you look for. Somebody blaming, not somebody that messed over everybody. We already, the place already crooked. We don't need to add to the crook population. Right, exactly. The place already crooked. Mm -hmm. You got to be blameless. Mm -hmm. Husband of one wife. Mm -hmm. Get little kids involved. You got have it, hear it, faithful children. That's right. A little bad baby. Not a cute, your children can't be sticking up people, robbing people. <laughs> Rioting. No, no, remember Tim <laughs> in the Bible. Eli, you got to cross over his son getting it in to get to church. Right. Like we out here, we right. got to cross, we get the snow drip. You right. got to say, Excuse me. <laughs> and you know, some of y'all gonna be watching, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're watching porn now. Come on now, so you know good and well. Why are you going to church? Because I'm, I'm going to church and I might miss something. <laughs> you ain't going to church with no word. I might miss something. Dang! I got... Uh -huh. <laughs> That's in your Bible. Right. Maybe not illustrated like that. But yeah. it's, it's in there. It's in there. Water, it's in there. Yeah. They had to the step over his son. Sure did. Hot night and Phoenix was his son. To go to church. Yeah. He don't want you to know what Hannah was doing. He's the one. Maybe he's the one. Like you know, like he he, he talking about Hannah. You drunk? No, I ain't drunk. I just need a child. Not like your sons are doing. Right. Okay. And then and then a prophet went to him and told him about his kids. Mm -hmm. He knew nothing. nothing. So he lost the ark of covenant, and his kids got smoked, just like the prophet told him. And he fell back and broke his neck mm -hmm. after sure, forty years. He sure did. That's in your Bible. Yes, Huh? I thank God there is no record of the borrow boys running through their generation no. who, who grew up with them. No. None. No. Zip. 
Right. Having faithful children. Horror stories. Your son ripping man to man. That's that. That's that man. She hate. That's that. They call it PK kid. What is it called? Uh, pastor. Pastor's kid. A preacher's kid who yeah. run through the church and then go marry some girl and all the other girls who who was sitting around got ran through got to sit there and watch him walk down the aisle and right. then he wants to pastor who he to lay how you pastor when you done broke their heart mm. so then the other one she said like you know she's from out of town she's somebody different why is are those three females hating me right. guess mm -hmm. do your due diligence <clears throat> One had an abortion by him. One, he said he was going to marry the other. Come on now. And they can't leave the church because I got too much invested in my heart. Ain't that some pitiful mess? Heartbroken. And he want a pastor. Like, look at the woman I chose over the rest of y'all. Right. Yeah, they do. Look at the one I chose over the rest of y'all. Better than. You gonna respect her. We can't even respect you. Right. That's some sad stuff. Huh? Then the ones hang around. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. What did the one say? Oh, I feel sorry for the I was one of the first ones he ran through. I'm just gonna stick around and I'm just gonna watch the next one because I'm here for I got too much money in this church to leave. What did I do with you? I'm just telling y'all something that you're not used to. Okay? That you might have to set in order and you don't plan on doing nothing. All you want to do is get warm, go home, and start eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. All day. Start. To start eating. You done came to church. You, 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 you ain't planning on leaving and setting nothing in order. I know my member. I already got something on the stove. Got a timer on. He gonna make you ain't put in order. <laughs> Whoever ain't right ain't right. You don't care. You gonna, gonna be wrong. They gonna be wrong. I'm gonna give me some food. Right. I'm gonna give me a blanket. Give me some dip. Yes. <laughs> Hot cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> huh? And then call in on Monday. <laughs> Now my wife is different. She, she, she's sick, but she'll be healed tomorrow morning. <laughs> I know, I'm not. Hey, I don't know. It's magical. She, she's going to be a well of wife. I think I'm going to make it right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, no, but she has a work ethic, though. She yes, can't she stand does. lazy dudes. Yes, she does. She gonna get, between now and 7 a.m., she's going to get healed. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> a day of rest. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. rest. That's the Having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. Right. Man. Man, this. There's some crazy dudes out there, man. This dude, uh. <clears throat> This girl took off and left this dude. The mother did. Just took off, left them. How I many? Two or three. Was gone two or three years. And that pastor, good dude, a dude man. Uh, that's not going to you get a divorce. Oh. <laughs> that's who? He gone. He left. She left. No, she left. She left, gone two or three years, left with the kids, and that pastor. Told him he had to take her back. Ain't that, yeah, you heard that stuff? Taking her back. Man, all kinds yeah. of, man, man. Yeah, she came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Y'all, yeah, y'all, man, don't try that here. Okay. <laughs> And 90 days, we're going to get your name changed. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. <laughs> and in 90 minutes, we already made a decision. Right. 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 Hey, man, hey, man, ain't that some crazy stuff? Crazy. There is a peace. There's more. I'm, I'm setting you up for something. There's more peace people messed up than you can imagine. Who gonna set it in order? I think I'm gonna live forever. No, I ain't. Who gonna set it in order? You sitting there right now just comfortable, can't wait to get home, get under space heater. <laughs> and God already, before the foundation of the world, said you're gonna be the one setting in order. Mm. Mm. When I send you somebody, ain't gonna, you're only gonna be booed up for a short period of time. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna drop you off in Creed. <laughs> not now, now everybody gets spiritual now, like, not me, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna drop you off in Creed. <laughs> huh? You and Mr. Erica, I'm gonna drop you off. Mr. It's gonna be an island, so you don't need to drive, so you can walk everywhere. <laughs> no, and Creek was an island. Is an island. Yeah. So you don't need to drive. So you don't be wrecking up. Wrecking up. You don't need to drive. <laughs> A walking <laughs> You and your husband, Mr. Erica. <laughs> Amen. All right, look at verse 7. Now we're going to talk about a bishop. For a bishop must be blameless. Bishop means overseer or steward of God's household, local church. For a bishop must be blameless. As the steward of God. Not, As the steward of God. Not self-willed. Can't be self-willed. Not soon angry. Not soon angry. Well, I need help on that one. I get, soon, <laughs> I get mad. You do, all right. <laughs> not so angry. I like it. Man, I think about... <laughs> But when I think about what people have had to suffer in churches, because yes. I'm going to worry about what the church follows is free. I don't even know them like that. I can't handle your case. Now, you got a, a straight up homosexual who don't want you. You got a straight up woman. A le you got somebody who does not want you. You got somebody who's messed up. And I got to worry about what the church across the streets are. Or... They got me scheduled to speak somewhere, and, and I want to make sure I get booked next year. Mm -hmm. I could care. I don't even like talking to other people's members. I could care less. Mm -hmm. I'm going to handle your case like you're the only one there. Yes, sir. Care what they say. Come on. Okay. Amen. Huh? That's, and that's right. how those pastors get caught. Because yeah. the case you don't handle comes up in your family. Mm -hmm. And then you're handling your family differently. Right. Then it was somebody else's child. Yes. Yeah. No. Handle that thing. Yes, she did. Amen. Handle it. Come on now. That's the one bitch who I respect. But no, no. You said all babies born out of wedlock, you weren't blessed. Then your daughter had one. And you brought her up front and blessed. You know what I'm talking about? Right. That what they got. <laughs> handle that. I like that righteous indignation. That's what you got. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. righteous indignation yeah. is, so wait a minute. Rhea Boo ain't special? Yeah, she is. Rhea Boo ain't special? Very special. So I get to throw her away. Hmm. <laughs> no, people. No, sir. No, ain't no way. That's why this job is it's not for those who can't be left somewhere on an island. This is island ministry I'm teaching y'all. Amen. Not so angry, not given to wine. I had to raise my voice. I don't know why. Oh man, somebody got pointed out. I didn't do I just raised my voice. Not given. Not given. My kids, you're not doing a whole lot of cooking. How, 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 how come the cork is popped before the food is ready? You gotta let it breathe. 
Not given. No, here's the here's the teaching on that. You don't you remember hear me teach. You ain't supposed to get sloppy. See, I got to be careful. Right. Because you to everything I say, y'all will take to the excess. Okay. They're looking at me. Everybody half sleep. <laughs> they got, a ball on got their ear cocked. Right. <laughs> huh? Look. And when we go to Europe, go to Europe, that's a part of their meal. Yep. You have to have some sense. Okay. Yeah. There are people who will tell you their longevity is yeah. because of a glass of wine. Not sloppy drugs. <laughs> right. Not slurred speech. That is right. slurred speech is right. not the Holy Ghost. That's right. Thank you. Huh? You understand? But when you got a kegger, <laughs> that, that you, a, 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 a kegger, <laughs> a kegger. Now all of a sudden, here your sick girl come out with a drink. Because <laughs> I want to be like that. <laughs> huh? Go <laughs> ahead. Okay. A drunk bishop. Can <laughs> you? No, <laughs> no striker. <laughs> Man, it's full of videos in church fighting. The bishop and his. World star. We got a picture of the, of the pastor slapping a woman. <laughs> so they go, put this one on him, he's the one on her. World star. All kind of YouTube videos. <laughs> Pastors with hands. <laughs> oh my God. That'd that be a good one. <laughs> Swinging man having brawls in the church. <laughs> man, that bad woman hit that because he didn't know he didn't know that that <laughs> Yeah, she hit she said, Fuck, he said, Wow Let's take this guy to the club. <laughs> Remember when Eddie Murphy got in that fight? That woman shot his toe. He shot her toe. Yeah. Um, she was that big toe. Man, she was whooping Eddie behind, boy. And he shot that big toe off. That toe. She's that little no all on. Not giving to filthy. So it ain't you and me and call to be bitch, you can't be beating your members up. <laughs> oh, we got this. Oh, let's step back in that back room. <laughs> got, got the gloves up, man. Come on. No striker. All right. Here's his word. Avarice, not given. Greed. Not given to filthy lucre. Always got a hustle, a hustle going on. Let's hustle down. Healing service. Before I miss it, <laughs> a healing service, a blessing, a gimmick. Huh? Jesus. So you come in there with a fake cast on. <laughs> Who can I train? I'm going to train. You got balls on your head. I'm going to train the balls. So I want you on the front row. I'm going to go into my, I gotta yeah. my shoulders up first. <laughs> got to drop down like, you know, like something hit me. Right. Then you bounce up and... And then somebody forgets, see, now they got camera phones, so they see me and you splitting up the property. <laughs> Hustling. You know what I'm saying, this church? After ties and offer, you can live your best life. You do what you want to do with your money, you get a boat, a helicopter, whatever. Even our work, seven, eight off. No, I want you to live your life. I want people to be addicted to your lifestyle. 
I want I want you to live your best. If anything, if you live beneath your privilege, I'm going to bring it to you. Yep. Ask me, they ask you. I go for it. That's all you hear. Go for it. Go ahead. Go. You've been faithful. Your tithes are offered. Now live. Don't be giving tithes off and you can't live. What are you doing? Life is short. Go for your dream. Huh? The church ain't supposed to have all your money. Where that at? Where that at? All your money. But a lover of hospitality. A lover of hospitality. A lover of good men. That ain't homosexual. Right? Please. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, you think I'm, you think, no. Because if, if you go on the internet, they will tell you that David and uh, Jonathan had a homosexual relationship. Lying. The internet is full of LGBTQ people trying to find a way in the word of God. Okay. Uh, here's a study for you. You know, there's no new thing under the sun. That's what Son of Solomon Absolutely. says. Absolutely. So, here's an art student right here. Mm -hmm. If you love art, about the Greek and Romans, that was the norm. That's all mm -hmm. they did. Even yeah. Alexander the Great had a little boy friend. Yeah. All of them. That is, this is nothing new. Yeah. It's a part, it was a part of Greek society. That's right. why they had the murals of the two of the young man and the older man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's ain't nothing new. No. Well, then, if that's a part of their society, that's why you should go to Rome and see what happened to their society. Because God left a remnant. Do what you want to do. I'll let the world know I'll shut it down. You have never seen nothing greater than the Colosseum in your never. life. Never. That's not. That's like a history book slapping you in the face. Yeah, live the way you want. That's a part of the part of Greek society, right? And look at our kids trying to infiltrate the music industry. Oh, the Oscars come on tonight. There is the gay mob. Man, leave it to Monique to talk about the gay mafia. All right. And then in the, in in white society was Barry Diller who's married to Diane von Fertigsberg, who had that rap dress, she married him knowing he was gay. He was gay, but he loved her. Barry Dillard, uh, uh, David Geffen, and this yeah. other man that died. Carl, Carl Lagerfeld. Huh? Carl Lagerfeld. No, no, Carl, Carl, Carl been gone. Carl been gone. <clears throat> Carl, Carl was over Chanel and Dior. Yeah. Yeah. But no, as far as the mafia, and the gay mafia in the United States, over the arts and music and all. there you go. Barry Diller, David Geffen, and one guy died. Uh, but all that is a repeat. My point is, if you love art, if you love museums, and you see those murals, that's a repeat of Greek and Roman society. So if if the United States, here's what I'm going with this, if we're going down the same road, and we are, mm -hmm. now they're getting rights, you're seeing the beginning of the end. Because you cannot make God change his mind about male and female. You can't. And so when a society decides to go against the word of God, it's just a matter of time. Now they have rights. Rights and action. That's, that's the day we live in. Even you have uh, husbands and, and first husbands. First husband. What's a first husband? Somebody with a slick perm in his head. Huh? With diapers. Got a diaper. Can't hold nothing. Soup or nothing. Just <laughs> gone. Just oh, right they run through you. Uh, first husbands. Oh, my God. Uh, you got lesbian. First man. First, first wives. You know the church we sold, 22nd Street? That was Metropolitan Community Church. Supposed to be a gay. There's no such thing as a gay church. That's why they had money. They ain't got no kids. You ain't got no kids. You got plenty of money. That's why they paid for our church in cash. So the lie they put out was, Paulo lost his church. Lost it. Man, we made $35,000. He lost his church to a gay church. Yeah, right. They had money. Met the body community. So you sit there. So what do you do with the Book of Romans in that church? Is it cut out? What do you do? What do you do with Leviticus? What do you do with all those scriptures? Yeah. The day we live in. Right? And, and but but now what's gonna come up? 
And trust me, some mega church is going to evolve and sign off on it. Watch. Right? That's not what it means to be a lover of good men. Sober, yeah, he can't be drunk. Yes. Just holy temperate. All right? Full control of oneself. Verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Right, because gainsayers are those who oppose sound doctrine. That's what a gainsayer is. Exhort means, let's break the words down. It, uh, faithful means reliable. Reliable, trustworthy. Exhort means to encourage or edify. No pastor is supposed to groom no younger member to sin. Right. Grooming is a word, ask my daughter, is a word associated with pedophiles. Sure is. The Catholic Church has groomed Sick. those young men sure. from the time they come up. Sick. It is a pedophile outlet. We got R. Kelly. They have a bunch of R. Kellys. Right. Most of, most of, all of them are R. Kelly's. They just love little boys. Now they poking nuns too. Yeah. Because the bottom line is God made the woman for the man. All right? But they got, they can't count their money. They have, man, they'll, they'll have a crazy campus with four people. Can't count their money. But they start grooming. That's why they want your child early. Huh? They start grooming all the way. And the hurt those men come across that they carry for years. The yeah. hurt those boys. Yeah. The one, that one, the one black dude in Baltimore, that man said, I, went, I had to shoot him, I had to kill him. Because I kept living with that memory. Saw him, and all he wanted was that man to say he was sorry. Man couldn't see how could he probably forgot about it? He, he didn't have so many boys, he done right, forgot. Right. What makes right. you any different? Right. Grooming. Okay? And yet they got plenty of money. Uh, the Franklin Credit Union thing, that was a pipeline. It's talking about this city. That was a pipeline. Went all the way to Washington. You can't thank God enough for sound doctrine. You can't thank God enough to walk in a Amen. house of God. Uh, where nobody's been groomed. Amen. Let's thank God for the real men in the church. Thank Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Nobody grooming. The sickness. People carry those hurts. Even in Dynamite, like you got to go back to somebody's childhood. What, what, what? Let's talk about you. Or they might be carrying a hurt that you can't heal. That scar might be deeper than your capacity to love. That's good teaching right there. Yes. That scar might be too deep. Yes. Amen. And then if it's not, you can't bring it up to win no argument. Because can't nobody help what was done to them when they were young and they, and they had no defense. Okay? See, it's too much ministry to be done, to be messed with people. People got problems. Holy Fast and Faithful Words, they have been taught. Verse 9, they may be able to sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gang. Said, look at verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain and I left talkers. you in Crete with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of false teachers here, vain talkers and, and deceivers, deceivers, especially they have a certain So what they were doing then in Crete, the Jewish Christians would say, look, we know about, about the Holy Ghost and all that. But we don't, uh, if you haven't been circumcised, mm -hmm. and you're not a Jew, right. then you still ain't right. right. Then they started charging them. Right. To be circumcised. Now, tight, yeah, to be, so Titus got left with all these crooks. Uh, poor Titus. All these crooks, all these false teachers, and then, watch this, go find some other men. It's too many of them for one person. Go find some other men who will deal with them. Good gracious. 
ministry. Where you sit somewhere, huh? And now you you gotta encourage your husband to go find because there's so much sin around that you're about to lose your mind. He got to go and get some other men and women. You are supposed to reciprocate the love of God that he has given you. And if he's called you to ministry, you gotta go find somebody faithful just like you to get this work done. It's too much work for one person. Right. It's too much work. All of a sudden, man, now you're looking at booed up in a whole different thing. Are you ready to get booed up and left somewhere? For your, uh, for your feet hit the ground, y'all got to deal with a bunch of unruly people. They ain't talking to see. People trying to shut your ministry down. Man, you about to be about about in the last day. Look at verse 11. He said, whose mouths must be what? Stopped. Write this word, muzzled. Yeah, like Why? They're destroying people. We're only in chapter one, and look at here what he can put on Titus. Right. It's the one that Titus ain't drove off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he on the island. He on the island. That's why I put him on the island. You can't leave. Yeah. When that boat go, it's it. <laughs> Who subvert what? Whole houses. Teaching things which they ought not. For filthy lucre's sake. Watch this. Write this man's name down. Here's the one that Paul quoted. And they're going to talk about him now. E P I M E N I D E S. He was a sixth century prophet, but he was he was really sprung on Zeus. Epimenides. Yes, E P I. Probably Epimenides. Yes. I bet that's right. Yeah. Sounded good. Epimenides, E P I M E N I D E S. Yeah. Paul quotes him. Epimenides. Epimenides says, These are his own people. And look what Paul said about them. One of themselves, verse 12, a prophet of their own said, The Cretans are always liars. <laughs> Evil beasts. <laughs> Evil beasts. Slow, slow bellies. <laughs> Not about talking about his own. He said they're always lying. Why would God send you to some place they always lie? How many other people? Those people that always lie. <laughs> huh? How you know they're lying? They talking. <laughs> they even think lies. <laughs> Your thoughts are lies. Your thoughts are lies. Huh? So, so I had a member here who's here right now. We just try to tell them. They try to corner her. She told them all the truth, but there was too many lies in that room. Right. Choking out the truth because they have lied to themselves that they have gotten away with this and that God has signed off on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, then then you become reprobate, right? Anybody here trying to get get no ministry for the Christians? So let's just keep reading. Right. Verse 13. This witness is true. He said, and he told the truth. Mm -hmm. I've only been here a short period of time. I done ran to some liars, evil beasts, <laughs> slow bellies. Mm -hmm. They want to lie right. Look, they lie and they eat, they glutton. If they eat and if they eat and they lie, if they eat and they lying. If they lie and they eat. They can't lie with an empty hand. Got to have a drumstick in one hand. <laughs> huh? Huh? Chicken wings and lie. How was that? Bucket of wings, hot sauce, and they lie. <laughs> Lying and getting fat. Fat life. If your mouth moves, you lie. Okay. And he said, "This witness is true." Yes. Now here, here you go. Uh, what, uh, 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 Paul, what am I supposed to do with them? Cut them up. Oh, Rebuke them sharply. Sharp. Is, it, is it in your Bible? Yes. Did it say sharply? Oh, you got, well, you know, baby, then you go lying again. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Then you go lying again. Huh? Uh -huh. You got to be sharp to cut. This is a ministry of cutting here in Crete. Rebuke them sharply mm -hmm. that they might be what? That they may be sound in the faith. 
Wow, is that yeah. in your Bible? Yes. Correct them sternly. Huh? Yes. Did that child leave here with you? Your attitude is unacceptable. <laughs> Man, we ain't playing with you. Man, you got there, you're going to die. Yes. You got death on Didn't you tell a kid in Northwest he had death on him? Mm -hmm. Did he die? He died. Thank you. Wow. I feel sorry for that child. Don't, no, you don't. Yeah. Let that child live. The only reason why that child got the way somebody didn't rebuke him sharply. I bet none of your kids can pull that man. Man, man. <laughs> Who would have had this discussion with this one? Oh, man. I was, with the... Uh, to my insurance company, we were talking about raising kids. And I said, I said, I, I said my sister passed me. She said her son did something. And she said she's a single mother. She called her son and said, well, you're a good one because my sister passed If he was in his office, she would pick up something and throw it at him. She don't care about y'all in here. Amen. I said, she, she'd have thrown something at him. Just for the fact that he was saying something cruel to somebody else's child. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Right here. I said she picked up something right here and just fired on it right here. I ain't no no filter. So they just looked at me like, you got it. I said, oh, come and see it. No, no, no. Come see it. <laughs> Amen. Huh? So what does this tell you? He thought the house of God. But if you let something in your house, it's going to rule your house. Huh? And then when you have kids, Everybody, 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 the people was mad and they went on the second row because you left something in your house. Now I was there. Okay, then, then I ended up being the bad guy because your child looking at me like, but what's wrong? No. <laughs> you left it in your house. When you have kids, right. your younger kids see how you deal with that oldest one. When they see how quick your hands are, <laughs> when they, man, they be like, okay. Okay. Man, ain't to me. we better not try that. Right. Huh? When 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 they see that older child not eating and the young and the young one, man, they eat they eat their cereal. Look at why the why the young one, older one they eat. They, oh, they gonna ever feed him. They get that one child don't care. He don't even care they eat. He just because you let if you let a spirit of disrespect in your house. Then, if you do it right, the older one will help you. Then they want to be the parent. <laughs> they are parents. Nasty <laughs> help. Don't worry about it, Mama. I got them. <laughs> yep, they do. I got them. <laughs> and you get the reward later on. Anybody want a reward later on? You get the reward. But you, man, you want, you let one. Your child talk you crazy? Tell you that you all do you not? And you take it? Nah, yeah, yeah, I'm 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 super ignorant. You can't even hold me hostage with a grandchild. Right. I know that's right. I bless the grandchild from the I'm doing it right. I, I said go fool with you. And I what you gonna do. Yeah. You gonna hold it over my head and get me told? You ain't getting me told. <laughs> okay, get quiet. We all go home there in a few minutes. <laughs> no, no, you let something in your house. <laughs> you got a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, a, uh, let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Not giving heed to Jewish fables, verse fourteen, and commandments of men that turn from the truth unto the pure. All things are pure. Read. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. <laughs> Read. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess. Write this down. Dirty mind and rebellious heart color all that they see or hear. Can you, can you see Titus trying to pack his bags and trying to run after the ship? You're going to leave me with all this mess. Mm -hmm. And this is the norm. I can't do it. 
Here's one for you. You bring order to your house, and then God commissioned you to bring order to somebody else's house. So here, how many of y'all had kids, other people's kids, want to be around your kids? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Why? Order! Right. Yep. There's order in this house. There's love in this house. There's fun, but there's correction. It cannot be all correction and no fun. Right. That's a house out of order. We have, we have fun, we have fun and laughter until somebody get out of order. And we have it, and we go right back to having fun. Right. Does that make sense? Amen. Your child shouldn't have to be at the door praying to step inside the door. Just, <laughs> you got your child making Catholic signs. <laughs> Over something that happened September 5th. Right. <laughs> I'm not doing it right because I ain't Catholic. <laughs> Amen. Does that make sense? You go back to having fun. Discipline. All right. Got to run down. Lonnie got to run down to Walmart and, and go get some new pants, pocket and pants. You done thrown all the others out. And broke them. Got to replenish. Okay? You go back to having fun. You know why? Because you're trying to raise that child to set up their own household one day. Yes. You know what? You know I can tell a messed up household? When, none, when all the kids still hanging around there don't want to leave. That's because somebody in there is unhappy. And that child is attached to their mental. What? No, you're supposed to get that child out of your house and to set up their own house. And you're supposed to visit them. Amen. All right. Amen. And even then, see? Uh oh, uh oh. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Go over their house. You're going to visit them in the shelter. Yeah, really. I come by there, but I got a plate. <laughs> I come by the shelter with a plate. <laughs> and somebody in the shelter steal it. Hey, man, uh, get your house together. Huh? I can see Star and Mike. Let's go over games and huh? No, he ain't got no food. Let's stay. <laughs> huh? Hey man, set that house in order. You're going to have some noodles, huh? <laughs> you got crazy. <laughs> Verse 16. They profess that they know God. You know what Zoe did? Zoe texted my wife and said, I'm coming over this week. <laughs> <laughs> Text my wife, I'm coming. I'm, I, I, can I come over, Grandma? I'm coming over. Food. For a steak. Yeah. I didn't make that. That's my steak. Yeah. She said, I know we got steak over there. I'm coming over this week. Yeah. So then she came over. And I can always tell she's coming over because my wife come home late. All these groceries because Zoe's over. Uh -huh. So Zoe has some Pringles. Okay. Well, I went to look for them. I couldn't find them. <laughs> he took the Pringles upstairs in the master bedroom and got them sitting on the dresser. <laughs> got the remote, TV on the wall. I like this room. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Got sleepy? Like, where is Zoe? Because we got her room across the hall. Where, where, where? Oh, no. Zoe done put herself to sleep, jumped in the master bedroom. She out. <laughs> With the Pringles. I mad at you. And the Oreo. And the Oreo. Hey, hey. I want, I want to go to that house. <laughs> I don't blame him. That was nasty. He took me across the hall. Now I'm across the hall. She's in there. Didn't put the Pringles down in the in the pantry, dog. No, I got them in a separate. You can wake up and eat it. 
So we went out, we went out to breakfast. The live boy. And I say, what? I said, what you, what you, what you, look at you out here eating breakfast. She said, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to give me some steak. <laughs> all right. I got a timer on all that. <laughs> Hey, but, but but you know what? You know what? But 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 it's 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 childhood. Now you see that picture I sent you. I owe God for all that. Yes. You know there's some nine year olds that don't want to live. Miserable. Hate everything. Yeah. If 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 anything, it brings a fear. Because this ain't real life. Her life ain't real life. Sure is. This is a life some people done sacrificed to make. Yes. And fought for and fought their emotions. And this child reaches, this child thinks this is real life. This ain't real life. Okay? Because childhood is, man, if your childhood is jack, that's rough, people. That's a rough one, man. Something everybody cannot handle. A person who didn't have a childhood. That's why you got to talk. And you can't act like you had one. And you got all these scar to you. Everything is hidden. When it gets to that level, you're like, look, you know what? Let's look, look, I'm committed to happiness. I'm committed to joy and fun. I hope I don't get on your nerve. But I didn't have no childhood. And so I'm about, I've got to make up and have some laughter and some fun. Amen. And snowball fights and in a swing and ride a bike. I, I miss all that. You need to know that before we hook up. Right, because I don't want you calling me immature when I'm just trying to have fun. Yes. When we come, tell me I'm silly, man. This is everybody get quiet now. No, don't don't tell me I'm silly. I missed all that. Didn't nobody set that up for me. It was always some nonsense. I was secondary. I was never primary. I was secondary. I had to learn on the run. Tell the truth. Don't make also somebody want to be goofy, whatever. You 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 turn out. What you doing that for? Well, wait a minute. What I told you? I told you. I didn't have that. I heard hollering and screaming and in and out and getting dropped over everybody's house and all these old strange babysitters and all these old play cousins and all this old silly stuff. So I'm gonna have some fun. Amen. That's a method to the madness. Uh, I want that baby to have fun. However life plays it out, but you always look back and when you was over Papa's house, it was fun. Eh? And then hopefully you can duplicate it. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Amen. Right? So this man, when, 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 when Titus is sent out on this island and these false teachers are subverting hope, why did he put whole household? Because we got to turn this whole house around. Right. You got this false doctor, you got all this kind of stuff, you got, we got to turn everything around. Nobody wants to turn around a household. It's too much work. Yeah. But you've been trained that. You can't just have a good household without helping somebody else get theirs in order. Who in here, oh God, man, if you got happiness, you owe God. Because a child is watching your child. You know what I'm talking about? You know, that child, that, that, that boy, that, that boy, could he move in your house? And look at his mom. Every time she comes, she's sitting at, you know, her parents don't want to be here because her father thinks I'm the lowest of the lowest. And I saved your child. <laughs> Who cares? You live with that. When you tighter, she live with that. Yeah. And I made that boy. She talking about his whatever. I said, so you mean tell me your child sitting over there, he done flunked all that. And I see him over there right now. I said, somebody, go get it. Go get your child. It's right after the game. Hey, Hawk sitting right next to him. They have a seat. So I'm going to penalize that girl. girl got mad respect me. Give me a hug. It ain't her fault she's so weak that she can't come in and get the help. Right. You, you get some help at the game if I'm there. Yep. Since you want some help. Right. I'm not going to shun that child. Amen. Right. When I, I know that child needs help. I'm too blessed to shun that child. 
Amen. That girl got mad respect for me. Her father and mother can't stand me. Too bad. Too bad. So the child said, go get, go get your child. Here he comes. Hey, guess what? My house, you admit this game. Go kind of great. Your mom not really to the point. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, you, nah, nah. Hey, guess what? Guess right. what? Here we go. It's on and popping. Mm-hmm. You admit the, you admit the game. Go kind of great. I'm not playing with you. You got too much going for you. Boo, boo. Your mother's a single mother. Boo. I said, oh, you know your grandfather hate me. Not, too bad. Who you know all that? That child's out of order. So you owe your mama. He about to cry. Since you owe your mother, she's a single mother trying. Man, even, even I know why he's that way. So what? I owe God for James, Cameron, and Raphael. Amen. This is somebody else's child. Huh? Here's a woman who, who keep a boyfriend, puts it in front of the child. I'm just going to sit there and watch that child go down. When that child got respect for me. I said, go and apologize to your mom. He's about to cry at the game. So here's what the girl does. So we go to a game. They, I didn't see, man, if I'd have known her dad was going to be out of the world me. <laughs> but I'm that nigga, you feel me? <laughs> you don't like me? Well, it's showtime now for Apollo. Let me show you why you don't like me. Let me help you. So he walked by. You know what the girl did? Right when he was... And the mama always, but she already she ain't even cute, so she need a smile. She already. You know, I ain't gonna say what I said because you know I had a podcast for that. Yeah. All right, I did a podcast. Yeah, I did. Okay. Once. <laughs> the girl gets up right during the game. Jesus, look up right when they're looking at. Well, I, I told your son something good. Found out her own. His grandfather, her father, won't even support this kid. Now, so, Dad, who you mad at? Right. Right. Who you put? Who, yeah, what, what, what's, what's something, something ain't adding up here? <laughs> your grandson got more respect for me than you? What happened? And who is your... Who, who cares? To my see that child. I owe God. Amen. I don't want nothing to happen to that child. Whatever's going on ain't his fault. No way. He just got born in one of those kind of families. But I owe God for the peace, amen, in my house and the influence. How can you be a parent with no influence? Wow. Titus, I'm sending you to influence households. Was that some influence on Wednesday? That whole second row. Yes, sir. Amen. Not taking your money. No, I want your child successful. I want you successful. Uh, Bergman, here we go. He's going he to start playing the dozens now. Okay, verse 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient. There's a key word everybody knows. Disobedient and to every good work, reprobate. All right. Chapter 2. Now, here we go. This is going to be good. Chapter 2, look at verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober. So they can't be drunk. (laughs) The the aged men have to be sober. Huh? Yeah. Great temper. I never would never Teach your son. Handsome, good look, look at his pants. I would never pull your son to the side. Know that some females running up on him. And give your son any comments. Never in my life. If you felt dead, you're not. I would never get it to your son. I could have homes all over the world. I would never let your son spend one night in my home with his girlfriend. If he's stranded, you, you stay here, I put her up in Days Inn somewhere, something cheap. <laughs> somewhere the bed bugs can bite her. <laughs> Hard to get it in when you scratch it and itch it. 
Huh? So when you got some numbers, which is birthday cake, candles, you're supposed to have something to say to the next generation. And you know how I feel about old people being jealous of young people. You're worthless. That's straight to the point. You're worthless. But the age men be sober. Grave. I'm going to buy you your first zigzag six pack. <laughs> so yo old. Ain't that what? Man, yeah. man. That's what my step out talking about. Yeah, so yo old. I ain't no cow, homie. So yo oats. Mm. You don't give yo, no, no age man gives no young man no license to rip and run through nothing. They got quiet on Wednesday. Like, you gonna tell your sons to mess over somebody. Man, they scared of death to mess over a female. Oh, that's just what boys do. No, they don't. Hey, Amen. How many of y'all ain't having that? Huh? Okay. Well, if, if that's what boys do, then make sure one does it to your daughter. Oops. And if you're a real parent, you don't care how good man you. Man, if you're a real parent, you are nosy. Come on now. Yeah. You listen to their phone when they sleep, and you know they sleep. You looking at their phone, you run through it. Huh? <laughs> well, now you you different though. <laughs> you take your child's phone, get the password, change the passcode. Now they can't get on. <laughs> they can't answer their own phone. Mom, can I get the passcode? Like can I answer my phone? Maybe. Huh? That's a whole nother level of parenting. Hmm. Right? Age men, read. They gotta be grave, temperate, sound, sound in faith. faith. They can't be cheap in charity. In love. <laughs> in patience. And I think it's to the age women. Now you have to say amen. Come on. The age women, read. Age women, likewise, that they be in behavior as the common holiness. They be showing, amen, Emma how to twerk. <laughs> Emma laughing. <laughs> huh? And you try to take it in about Dr. Jobs or something. There you go, baby. Baby, baby. Uh, yeah, you gotta come on now. You can take her mom about Dr. Jobs. But leave him at home. <laughs> huh? No, 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 no. Everybody, so know what he's doing. He's giving everybody, he done dropped him off in Crete with these crazy liars. Now he's giving up all these people. There's a role for they have to play. They have to live a certain way in front of these crazy people. Everybody, the old men, the old women, knows what he says about them. All right? They have to behave. We are going to win them with our behavior. Amen. And that's another level, isn't it? Yes. See, see, so that's what I said. Your face is in Hebrew public property. So, so went to breakfast on Saturday. Everybody who can't, who slept in, but they know, man, you better get up because I'm going to eat breakfast. They all got up. So we load up. So the people in my restaurant, I don't know what they, because you know, they don't ask me no questions. So here I come with my wife and my grandbaby. So they like, still got the mean jacket on in her mm -hmm. Adidas, you know, something don't change. But they like, I was watching them watch. Then my grandbaby was in order, and then they kept, man, there was a man kept coming by, he wasn't even a waiter. I have to say nothing, I ain't trying to prove nothing to those people, just give me my meal. But they're watching. They're watching. Then when one time I took Zoe and Tinka, and they said, oh, you're here with your girls? Yeah, here my running buddies today. So they watch, I ain't got to say nothing, I don't have no bumper stickers on my car, I don't, I ain't, man. just watch. If either you think, whatever you think I am, which I can about guess, uh, but what are you going to do with the order you see? The order speaks for itself. See, see, holiness people, in order to make it on the island of Crete, you got this. You can't just be about bumper sticker and slogans and whatever. You got to show the ungodly, the unruly, the out of order how to live. That's right. How about that? How to live. This is how we live over here. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. 
That's the beauty of, of, of man. Like that kid, that one kid. All he knows is, and I catch him staring, even when he comes here, Skyler's got his mom and dad. One of them was always going to the game. The one lady, her son comes here, she go to Salem. She'll inbox me in a minute. He need to come back over here. Order. Well, then why would you, so your church can't help you. Your church don't care about your son. All they care about is you and your credentials. You have the credentials to go to that church. What good are your credentials if your child about to... Okay. Watch your order. How, how does it feel to be in a family, have a mom and dad? Wow, your mom, man, does, does anybody in your church age? No one who listens ages. You're going to get older, but you ain't. Oh, that's too good right. for y'all. You get older, but you ain't going to age. You got it. It's all order. What people see. Okay? I guarantee you, y'all think I'm playing, I guarantee somebody scroll and say, I bet grace don't count. It ain't even coming to grace. They ain't coming to grace. I bet grace don't cancel. Because I don't know who wants to come in here and thank God for what he's already done. I don't know who said, you know what? I, I remember days like this when I was suicidal. Days like this when I wasn't blessed. Days like this when I was in trouble. I was drunk. I was there out the will of God. You mean to tell me God brought me through days like this and I can't come and praise him if the door opens? See, that's when it becomes personal. I owe God for what he did last week. I owe God for my son about to graduate from a prestigious school. What's some no grip? All roads to God. Amen. I rug it. If I can make, if I can't make it, but I'm sure trying. Amen. 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 I want to thank you, God, for when you dug me out. Ooh, yeah. man, huh? I want to thank you yeah. when, 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 when the drifts in my life were high. Yeah. And I still came yeah. out. Yeah. I want to thank you mm -hmm. for clearing my roads. Yes, I want to thank you for when you attach somebody to me and pull me out of religion. Yeah. Amen. God, every time I see a tow truck, I think of you, God. I think about how you sent my and pulled me out. Thank you, Thank you for clearing my walkway. Mm -hmm. Remember when your walkway, huh? Thank you for laying down the salt of your words so I wouldn't slip. I got tired of slipping and falling. Huh? Woo! You. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have no seasonal relationship. Nope. Thank you. Thank you, God. I'm not in the hospital right now. Yeah. Being prepped for surgery. I thank you for watching. Oh. Thank you for the treasures in the snow. Treasures, yes. Why, why, why are you here? I live well. I, I, I try to send somebody about nine pictures. Here, let them speak for themselves right. while I'm coming out. Right. I'm coming out of a place I had no business being in. Mm -hmm. The least I can do is come out and tell God, thank you. I don't have no business being in. So the place, what I look like being laid up in a place I didn't want to be in in the first place. Mm -hmm. Huh? When you done made a way? Yes. <laughs> well, I, said, I woke up it was, the only place that looks better than my driveway is the highway because I raised the drive door up but, you know I don't know man, man it is I don't know when those guys came by what do I look like <laughs> I said God it, man, it, look, it might be if the sun come out it might be dry 
I owe God for that. I say you. I say I owe God for that. Yeah, huh? Because yeah. we come here, we, we can't even get in because the lock is frozen. Now watch that now. You know I was going to teach that. So here we are, you know, man, Candace try to keep, May try to keep. We can't. You know, a Rico come by. Huh? <laughs> can't get in. But we going to get in. Can't get in. I Google something, all right? Here comes single mother Vicky. Didn't know I had a crook in the church. <laughs> Here comes Vicky. Vicky come in. Oh, no problem. Since she got locked out, her plate with some pajamas on. Amen. So she was freezing. She was motivated to get back in. Went to some antifreeze. Poured it on her key. Found another crook, Jimmy. And here they go. <laughs> They use their past life <laughs> to get into their new life. Amen. Huh? So if you ever get to lock or call Vicky, call Vicky and Candy, they can break in. <laughs> they can get in. That's all. That's how we got in. That's right. When Rico came back, we were sitting here. Rico, oh yeah, that did. Some antifreeze on the key. Right. Amen. That Vicky boy, man. Anybody gonna ever lock you out of nothing? <laughs> May God send you MacGyver. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Huh? I married you because you can figure this out. <laughs> Instead of complaining. Pop and lock it. I knew somebody would take it to another level. All right. Hey, back to the older women. They age women likewise. They be in behavior as, as becoming holy. <laughs> that, that don't mean no long skirt and big old hat. Now, now, now here's the interpretation of that. They ain't talking about all these crooks on the island. Now they got them all looking bad. Right. Okay. Hey, Amen. All looking bad. At one church, they always looking at our pictures. Because these folk look like that, but they cover. If you not, if you need an extra spank, I'll put you to the side. Okay, you, you're bouncing. <laughs> Lock that down. Clank, clank. Clank, clank. Double up the spank. I don't care, but you're bouncing. But other than that, but, but, but what I don't want is you look so bad that they out there looking for carts because you got your cans. <laughs> what? No, not the I'd rather have a church full of Range Rovers than, than carts with cans in it. Uh -huh. That's not holiness, people. No. That's ugliness. <laughs> Age women. Huh? Not false accusers. Mm. The one must be giving drunk, getting drunk too, because they're not giving too much wine. Yeah, not much wine. Not much wine. Not much. All right. Verse four: The older women. So look, look at this. This is this is Titus. Man, Paul ain't half gone yet. He said, look, Titus, you gotta tell everybody. The old men, the older women, and now the older women have to teach the young women how to be sober. Hmm. See how the church, now when you read Titus, you see how the church is out of order? Where are the older women who teach the younger women? No older woman in the church is jealous of Echo, Corinne, Ariel. Ain't nobody jealous of them. If anything, amen. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's right. Ain't nobody talking about she thinks she cute. You don't even hear people here talk like that. No. You hear she is cute. We going straight to the booth at the church. Right. Amen, huh? Look at the people who y'all done brought up who don't really have self-esteem, but you done brought up complimenting them. You look good. You look yeah. nice in that whatever. Right. And now they had to go. Somebody thank God. Amen. So you think it's the norm. Huh? That picture of Simona who said, look, I got this condition, but I got this perfectly shaped head. That picture of her out front, all y'all behind her, you can't, you can't put no word on that. Oh, y'all playing. That's unheard of. All y'all standing behind her. 
We've got her. Come on, come on up. Right. Y'all think that's the norm? By herself, that ain't the norm? Mm -mm, mm -mm. That ain't the norm? You might get older. You are going to get older. But you don't have to age. Amen. Amen. And the way you stop age, you always find a young person. You don't want them to step in a ditch. You, that's why God lets you get. If you step in a ditch, you, baby, avoid that. That's a ditch. That's a ditch. We got this baby. One time, we, we already working on these two girls. That girl is faithful, y'all. We were working on them. They all sat at the same table and was eating my food. <laughs> and God took one. But we're going to help her. Amen. Huh? We found out she has a gift when it comes to help. Why can't she have her own salon with that 24 months? Amen. Huh? Watch this now. Not be tied down. Mm -mm. Because once you realize what you bring to the table, you're already tied down. You tied down to somebody in your low self-esteem that you can't get rid of now that you know. Can you tell her? Remember the, who, who, who inboxed you? Talking about Lynn. Lynn died. I don't know what you're talking about. That Lynn is dead. It's Pastor Linda now. That, that person, amen, that was full on you. Amen, amen, amen. You were of my low self-esteem. You were before I found out I was gifted. You were before I found out I had something to offer God. You were the one, amen. You didn't even tell me. You took advantage of how God made me in my nature. But you didn't tell me, amen, all I was with my cup. Now you want to pop back up. You're a reminder of where God brought me from. Wow. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and her thought she can cook. Oh, you non-cook, say amen. <laughs> I cook as well as some of y'all. There you go. <laughs> and I eat out every day. What they tell you? <laughs> can we bring them through? Or are we going to stop with Ariel? Mm -hmm. No, we ain't stopping. Huh? Emma, you need to know that. We're going to tell on you. We everywhere. We everywhere. We on the roof. We in the chimney. We on every street. Look at your rear view mirror. We at every Walmart. If you go to Target, God will send somebody there for you. One of us is working. God going to make sure you run into one of us. Huh? Ain't none of us going to watch you. Not the love we have with your mom and dad. Not how faithful they are. We, man, we own you, baby. Right, right. If you try to go out of town, we'll be on the plane. Emma's like, he's serious. I am, baby. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to go to Boston and Creek. Here comes Emma. <laughs> right. Right. You know what the standing joke in my house was? My son would go, daddy, everywhere. Somebody know you. I'm like, yeah, Rock. We ain't just Mississippi. Pass the ball. <laughs> Did you not? He said, Daddy, don't even come to Ames store. He said, don't even come. You, you get a two hour. Everybody in that store know you. Right. Come and tell your dad hi. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, he. You understand that, Emma? Emma, over here. You understand that? <laughs> Kill them right now. They, yeah, they watch you right now. <laughs> Amen. And we'll hem you up. Chris, coach, you know how many people want to snatch that little boy that got 
Better to snatch him than bury him. Anybody gonna snatch him out that grave? A man like Coach, even after you, you can either leave her house peacefully or be forced out. <laughs> Your call. Before you think about being forced out, think about the day. Go out there and absorb this day. <laughs> For every child that want to leave, Devin, every child that says, I don't want to be here, today is your day <laughs> of reckoning. Now, of course, you can't wear what you can only wear what you bought. <laughs> today is your day to step out. I can't think of a better day than to be grown. Look at Kobe. Kobe, you already freezing. You need to be right, son. Wear what you bought. Wear what you bought. <laughs> there are your draws. Right. Now you commando, your full commando out there. <laughs> your stuff's freezing. Right. It ain't swinging. No, you, you got blue hips. I can't wait to get out of this house. Today is the day. <laughs> See a real, a real, a real panel go. I know what you're saying. Right. So uh, let's do this. Hey, man. It's a good teaching, boy. This is an excellent day to be grown. Huh? Even if you fall out, you're going to come right back to In the snow. Huh? He like, oh, man, I think I better be chill. Yeah, right. Did you buy that? You bought that? Uh, oh, 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 get it. Uh, I know. Hey, Amen. Come get you. Coach will throw you in his car. I had love for your mom. I don't even go to that Blake church no more. Oh? I'm going to put you way out there. He said, you know what? Oh, I know that. I did this for your mom. I did this for your mom. So when I see your mom... I'll tell her. I'll tell her what you said. <laughs> she already shaking on me. I'll tell her what you said. <laughs> what, a, what a Diane tell Keenan? I don't need no invite to come here. He said three, 250. It was in the NFL. I don't need no invitation to come here. It's her church anyway. She's real thug. Bishop, Bishop, right? Amen. But but I'm on, he gonna do it for love for your mom. Okay. It's a real church, folk. Now, now, now why? So so you get the person, I don't want KT. I don't want Crystal talking to my child. You wanna know where that child is today? You don't want Crystal talking to your child? Crystal, who in heaven waiting for us. Crystal, who the OPS sent the bad kids when they found out she was gifted. Come on. Sent them from their school to her own purpose. That's right. And you sit in the house of God with your fake self. Right. Yeah. Talking about you didn't want Crystal around your child. <laughs> Mad at me because your child told you to your face. Drop the F bomb in your face and told you what the F you doing here. How many y'all about how many y'all would crawl through the telephone like look at man, he done, he done got up in his seat now. Look, the baby almost fell. How many y'all it ain't never gonna get like that, boy? Boy, man. If I'm old, I'm gonna take my cane and hook it around your neck. <laughs> I was told her. I know, she told me. Oh yeah. The little girl's girlfriend came out with more respect. Said, Miss So and so. Uh, yeah, I know you got a problem, but you just gotta accept our relationship. Uh, but you, you don't hold that again. That child's respect. That child's out there. But her child, what the f you doing over here now? 
and live to tell about it. Don't want to wrong crystal. Test. That's pure ignorant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is she paying for it? Paying for it. Big time. Big time. That's what you get for being fake. Heard they've been boxing. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all let's go, let's go, we all go. How many y'all gonna win toe to toe with your child and didn't tell Man, nobody here ain't nobody here took no whipping for their child. I don't think. From their child. Oh. Your child beat you up. What? I just told a joke. What? Look out. Debbie, Debbie, you got to be sweet today, Debbie. Uh, Daddy, I'm on the phone. Don't you see I'm busy? <laughs> Did you see I'm busy? Why? Don't you see my door closed? Mama, you tripping. <laughs> it rain's coming out. <laughs> Emma, you see what you about to face? <laughs> Look at this. Go, oh my God. You know, you never take it there. You know why? Emma said, I'm a good Because God will make sure you have a little Emma. Just like you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yep. Uh, Emma, that's why my sister, I hope she listening. Love you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that on the podcast. That's why she got the daughter she got. Ruth Ellis told her. And then her daughter ain't got no sense. Not London. Now she got a daughter just like her. Right. They flowing in dissension in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Off of a principle. Go around, go around. <laughs> Off of a principle. Yes, sir. You get the kind of child you were. That's right. Now all y'all trying to repent like, oh God, what did I do? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but it's good to know that no saint's child is gonna go through the gutter and you watch. Oh, you know, I saw so and so child, and they were no, 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 uh, uh, I saw so and so's child, and I snatched them up. Get in the car. Yes. You know how many people want to be snatched up, but wasn't nobody there. So how all those rugged gang members have love for me and they can squash me? How come they ain't ever stepped to me? Snook all of them. I'm talking about the little phone, your phony cousin. We talking about some real crazy come in here. A day. How come Anthony didn't smash me? He was sitting right there. So I'm gonna get me a killer. I don't have to be you. There's a bunch of y'all out there. Even Jeanette on Facebook, she tried to give a history to church. She was saying, you was out there even when you I don't remember in my life being threatened. It had to be a Rudy poop, because I sure wasn't hiding. She said, when they threatened, it had, had to be some reverence on my threat in my life. It wasn't, wasn't yeah. nobody substantial. Exactly. <laughs> not, not, because, not because I was in Pleasant View. Right. The substantial was in Pleasant View East. I knew Butter all down. I knew all, they were all kids. Right. Nobody substantial threat in my life. They ain't never been threatened. He's a greasy chicken. Some greasy chicken handkerchief. Yeah. 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 But who's who? <laughs> yeah, Craig coming through. Craig coming through, Bo. <laughs> uh, you know why? Fatherhood. Robert Paylor, we prayed here before he got killed. Right here, Mary on the steps. Yep. All of them. Yeah. And the, even the people, watch this now, even the people that were out of order were in order when they were in here. Yes, they were. Now, I don't care what they do now, but when they were in here, they functioned under the
the spirit that was here. They were loving folk. Come on, they, they weren't all bad. They weren't all, always bad. Come on now, they were functioning. Because it was what? It was order. Gang members came here. Thrown away kids came here and fell love. Amen. And if you was here, you fell, you fell in love with the order that was here. You acted like, I don't care what you do now, you ain't here no more. But when you was in here, you acted like you loved them. Don't ever say, uh, what's his name? Fat Box from Pleasant View. Don't ever say nothing about Patrick around Fat Box. He will hurt you. Because I remember getting the call, the Dorchester. I remember getting the call. We go up to the house, and, and what's the boy, boy whatever you used to do hair, uh, uh, cut hair? Uh, barber, oh, I'll be his name. No, he, he cut hair. Remember, he, man, he, man, they used to shoot their house about that. Man, he called, he would call Patrick. No, 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 that was a, that's Fat Box in there. Remember Fat Box and the, and the driver? Damn! Because, man, they, 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 would, they would call Patrick with a degree in computer sciences. Mm -hmm. wow. Patrick, where you at? I'm over at Dayla's house now. They shot their house up again. Uh, Jane Street and shot their house up. Yeah. We go to, man, there's bullet holes all in the chair, in the wall. And here's Patrick with a degree in computer science. He don't even talk like me. He talk real slow and deliver. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say nothing about Patrick, the fat boy. And wasn't scared. How you make that connection? Love him from Patrick. Bullet holes, man, he is in the Bullet holes everywhere. Come by and dump. Which, which watch us now, which meant they could have came back around and dumped while we was there. They don't care. But then again, let me tell you another story. We're talking about the love of God in a house. And not just raising your kids, but having order to where it affects other people. One kid said, okay, when 29th Street, I think I told this story, Carl, you ain't heard it. When we was out there with Ant, 29th Street, and he's been shooting everybody, so they're going to shoot at him. So me and Mother Mary said, we was out there. We came here with, with Kenny Walker. We're like, man, it was a, one of those days when you feel death in the air. Matter of fact, somebody just got shot in the head that night, so we like, man, let's roll. So we roll, we get to McDonald's. Here come Chauncey and his sister, Sarah. They riding. They didn't think we out. Now they've been in they've been warned. This, you know, ain't nothing out here right. in McDonald's parking lot. Right. They gonna ride anyway, because you know what? They don't hear the church, but you ain't hearing it at home. They mama too busy being out there. Right. Here they come through. Mother Mass said, crosses over. I, I, man, what y'all got? Don't y'all know we everywhere? <laughs> we told y'all, get out of here. Right. They pull out, Kwana. The shooters pull up. Past them. They need a parking lot. And man, that's a, that feeling is so eerie. Now, Marcus and them, they used to being around gunfire. He's like, but ain't, I couldn't even watch shows. Because here comes that sound. And then one kid was looking, because I had the, the Harley truck. He was looking at my rim. He was crossing over. Also, you hear that sound. Man, we ducking and and, and, and sure enough, when that got hit, he peeing all on the floor and whatever. Word got back around. This made me freeze. They said, we saw them. And we were going to walk them down. But we saw Pastor Barlow's truck out there. We saw Pastor Barlow and said, we're not going to walk them down, but we just going to drop. Jesus. Come on, man. They went and told that we saw Come we because we were gonna get him because he been shooting people. Right. We were gonna walk him down, which man, he's a liar because they're gonna walk up on him and do him. He said, but we saw your pastor, his people out there, and we don't want to do that. Look at that, nice. man. That, yeah. That's my version of praise the Lord. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I know that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hey, you don't. You can't get a higher compliment than that. Mm -mm. That's right. This is order. Amen. Titus, yes. go set that crazy place Amen. in order. Note it. You're doing it by the family. 
you're going to start with the person talking to them. You're going to start talking to them. You're going to start all the way down to the husband and to the wife. We bring in order to the liars. They're liars. They're gluttons. They're beasts. Evil beasts. About to get them some order. Yeah. The saved, what man? Keep this on the podcast. The saved are not called to the saved. That's right. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to sit around talking to each other about baptism in Jesus' name. I've already been baptized in Jesus' name. So have you. I'm going to hold you so have you. Watch this now. While we doing that, some spirit has creeped on Beauty Queen here. Right, right. While we said baba baba back and forth each other. Right. <laughs> That's some nonsense. The save ain't called to the save. Titus is called to creep. That's right. Where they messed up. Religious folk messed up. Man, can you imagine a sign like that? Everybody around you messed up. And we're going to break this down family by family. To where now your family, huh? you don't know who was watching. Y'all playing the snow. So you know they married. Get on Facebook and look at that. They go to, that's great. Look at them in the snow playing. I know what they say about that church, but I heard they get married over there. Wow. That's a compliment, folks. Yeah, it is. That's our version of praise the Lord. Amen. What's your version? Hush the bubba, bubba. Hush the bubba. Who's your bubba? I guess somebody else. Hush bubba, bubba, bubba. You got, you got too many scar tissue. Shababa. Boo boo bye bye. Boo boo bye bye. She said boo boo bye bye. <laughs> boo boo bye bye. Everybody understand that? The same I'm called to the same. Right. You go to the island of Crete and straighten some mess out. They're your ministry. All <laughs> right. I'm a minister, but let's go to Crete then. Yes. There's plenty of work. It's, you got to talk to some women. Some old women who are full of wine. It's the opposite of what he said. Yes. The aged women that they've been behaving. I mean, they on the pole. They twerking. They, <laughs> they selling tickets. <laughs> False accusers. That which means they lying on everybody there. Nissan Altima and Chevy uh, Equinox, both white, blocking the parking lot through the way. Those hours. Who's a Nissan Altima? Chaz. Chaz and Santa. Who has a Chevy Equinox? Oh, KT. You don't want to sell it. Blocking something. Just, we need a uh, through way. So what else? Look, we in verse 3. Mm -hmm. Not So they drunk, not giving right. them wine. Right. And it must be teachers of bad things. A good thing. <laughs> Please be a good teacher. Well, he, but, but, but what I'm saying is, he's setting up because the opposite is there. Right. So they got to be the opposite of those things. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. That they may teach the young women to be sober. So, so the young women at the church had to be ripping and running, acting a fool. Because mm -hmm. watch this now. Disorder begets disorder. Yeah, it does. Notice what it started with. It first started with the priest. If the priest is out of order, everybody else just fall apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it starts with him. Okay. I'm talking to the wife now. That, that man. I'm tired, boy. I'm tired of disorder. I'm trying to encourage her. Golly, that disorder. It starts with the head. The head out of order. If the head is afraid, head ain't saying that, head quiet. But guess what? Disorder gets loud. Disorder is right to that is never silent. The priest. 
preach, I make some noise in the house. Good morning. Everybody up. Up to church. Don't do that now. Up to church. Up to church. Call them that. Hurry. 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 See, I, I can't get this up. I try. Flashback. Up to church. Up to church. Up to church. flip a bed with one finger. Your bed had to be all flat. Man, it'd be like somebody's butt set in the middle. Just a big dumpy bed. <laughs> one little boy, he think, they said boss in at two, he think he gonna sleep in. I thought I was dreaming. I never had a, I never been hollered in my life like that. I figured, you know, we got it at two, we might get up at nine. 5 a.m. We just got in at 2. So, you know, one little, one little soft boy like Chris, he gonna sleep anyway. Everybody else, we think we have an out of body. We just standing up like, I know this can't be real. But no, we got sleeping beauty. He all tucked in. Starting baby. I've never heard people cuss so fluently. <laughs> loud, he's oh boy, he just loud. He took the dude while he's in the bed and flipped it. <laughs> and it's funny to see somebody tumble out of bed. Just yes. <laughs> one little boy, one little boy, Michael, one little boy. We in the day room getting letters. One little boy, he mad. <laughs> he gonna walk out. Going on. <laughs> we sitting around like this. Call your name out. Marlo. He throw your letter. Oh, your letter. All of a sudden, here comes one of He hot. Man, he said, you better sit your, I can't blank it. He blank, 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 down. Where the blank you think you are? He gonna walk back to Colorado. We in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> When we saw him, it would be good for you. We saw him, 90 degree weather. He was picking grass in between the sidewalks. All the fire was gone out of him. He was. Amen. We let you away, get away with a shovel some snow, man. Just think, if she gave you a scoop. <laughs> An ice cream scoop. <laughs> Get an ice cream scoop and clear the driveway out of here. Amen. And to prove I was in the Holy Ghost, Wednesday, that was order. Yeah, None of the saints' kids flared up if somebody else's kid. Right? Anytime you sent somewhere, something's out of order. See? All these fake ministries, they want to go somewhere where stuff is in order to build their brand up. They don't want to go Titus. Titus, everything there is just out of order. The men, the women, the young women, 
the young men. He running the whole list down. It's everything you have to set in order. Now to the young women. Read. Oh, but, yeah. uh, but Kiki got her check, y'all. Ain't that beautiful? Woo! What are you supposed to get it? Amen. Uh, uh, y'all too far back. Y'all got to come, come back. Yeah. Because she's called. She's called to show these girls what? Order. 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 Huh? Now watch this now. Look, look, look. We, we over here. How do y'all know God didn't bless her foundation to help those girls stay out of order? Right. So she got to reshape through sports. She got to reshape those girls. I watched I watched the Duke Syracuse game and Zion Williams, who's gonna be the uh, uh, Williams is gonna be the number one. So he blew his shoe out, but he's sitting on the bench. So I text Rocky, I said, look at Zion, who's going to be the number one draft choice, sitting on the bench, cheering, acting like he's playing. Yeah. That's the, Rocky said, I said, if I was him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put on, I wouldn't play another game. Rocky said he has a 200 million shoe deal right now on the table from Puma. <laughs> 200 million. Yeah. But my point is, somebody paying for that kid. Yeah. He on the bench. Like, like this, man, he is the dude. He's 6'7", 285 with a 40-something inch bird. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever seen nothing like this kid? He blew his shoe, he did one move I mean, and blew the shoe out. Oh, and Nike's stock went down. Sure did. It broke. So, so this kid, but my point is, that, but my point is, he on the bench soaking. He, thank God he only had, I mean, you know, that's a, he got blessed. That minor knee sprain. Yeah. Man, man, he could have been, that could have been it. Right. But my point is here parenting. This kid on the bench. Yes. Chest bumping his teammate, cheering, excited. He hollered out his Forget the game. I said, who raised that kid yeah. is a millionaire? Yeah. 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 You know, you know he got And that's the low figure. After March Madness, that's the low figure. Soon as he soon as that soon as he declared, that day he declared, at a minimum, he has a $200 million shooting. And yet this kid on the bench, not sulking, not all laid in the cut, he up there cheering. So we at the game, and Cammy says, I want you to read this article on Chris Douglas Roberts. That's who Robbie and Mr. Trey. It's the opposite. He now got taps all over his face. He has a, a diamond grip hair and can't pay his bills. Smoking blunt. Talking about he's a Moor. Now, M O, one of the Moor. That's the black nationalists. The Moors. M O O R. The Moor. Just gone. And all he had to do was listen to my son. He would have had right. a minimum right. Right. of $30 million. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Easy. All the, all the big money came soon after he started acting a fool. Mm -hmm. And can't nobody hold this kid. Now he done changed his name. And the whole article started off down in him. Talking about everything he say is BS. That's how they started the article. Putting him down. Wow. All because, so here, here's a product. He says his father got 19 kids out of wedlock. Here's Zion Williamson, who has a deep, some parents done raised him. Right. He has 200 million as soon as well, whenever the, the uh, whenever he declared. And here's CDR who was on the court with Dad Rose, went so far, but with no dad, wouldn't listen to somebody with a dad. All I do is listen. Now he's broke. Disorder finally caught up with him. And now he got two kids and just man. Look at the contrast between the stuff. What through your lifestyle, because we're going to be in the book of Titus until you have a doctorate in it. 
how can God send you or can God send you to put something in order? You can't put a house in order if you out of order. Now we get to the women now. Young women, verse 6. Young men, likewise. How you going to have a business without the word of God? You're not Rihanna. Rihanna was offered a kingdom. She sold out one day. The little Jenner girl, she's about to be a billionaire. <clears throat> That's kingdoms. Why can't you, ooh, man, you know that right to the point. Why can't you be God's answer to what Satan did for them? Right. Does that make sense? A lot of sense. Or, so we got Fenty, we got the, the Jenner girl who wants lips like y'all have every day. Y'all, you, you got lips like that. She's trying to get them. She done got some money. You just be smacking yours. Don't, ain't had no thought of nothing. <laughs> she got hers injected. Now she's about to be a billionaire for real. Yeah. Yep. And yet you have cosmetic. Why can't you come in the house of God and say, God, I want to be the answer. I want to be the equivalent. Amen. I want to be your response to what Satan is doing on the earth. Amen. Thank you. I need the word of God. I need discipline. Amen. So if you ever put me out there, amen, I will draw from her following over and lead them into righteousness. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. You can't put stuff in order if you are out of order. Let's finish up Titus verse and then talk to the young women. Five to be or verse four. Got four. to teach the young okay. women that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. To do what? To love their husbands and to love their children. To love their husbands. To love their children. But well, when it say husband, it talking about the man who is the head of the church, who is taking care of you. Who you look up to. He is a provider. You're supposed to love the provider. You ain't got quiet. Suppose <laughs> well, he don't provide. You're supposed to love and follow him provide real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I thought, you know what? I love you. One day you're going to take care of us. <laughs> real soon. Like this week. You don't need no more bubble gum. Put that up. We need to get our lights on. They may teach you all to be sober, to love their husband, to love their children. Quit beating your children up. Because you're mad at your husband. There's no reason why your child in kindergarten should have hands already. <laughs> No reason why your child already got the, has mastered the Mayweather shoulder roll. It's now hooking off the jab. Huh? Your child ducking right hands, coming in. And your child only three. When you whip your child, you're the one with bruises and welts. Because your child is ducking in, got, got footwork. Shoulder roll. <laughs> this gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. You're right, because you ain't hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> and you look up, you got welts all over your leg and everything. Else. <laughs> then you gonna beat yourself up. You're supposed to have fun with your children. You're supposed to love your children. They want to show you something they done cut. Don't go balling it up and throwing it away. <laughs> Aww, Mommy, look. <laughs> oh, no. that, that causes problems. <laughs> Read verse, verse, so children, uh, verse 5. Is this the last one? Uh-oh, uh -oh, verse 5. To, to be discreet. Yes. Uh-oh. Chase. Chase. Keepers at home. Keepers at what? Home. Good. Obedient to their own. Now, a day like this, where everybody snowed in, be a good house cleaning day. <laughs> Not a lot of stuff. 
Vai ser em manhã. <risos> Uh, <laughs> you got November pile of clothes, looking like a mountain. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so I say, Mama, is this what Moses had to go climb to get to the the tablets? A lot of room look like the Old Testament. Everybody ain't laughing. All right. Oh. Obedient to their own husbands. Mm -hmm. That the word of God be not. Don't be in left. your house obeying somebody else's husband. What? Obedient to their own. But look, if you put it in here, somebody was out of order there or not. Uh, somebody was taking. Excuse me, hold up. Chuck said, do this. <laughs> Sit down, Bob. I'm talking to Charles. Charles, what should I do? All right. <laughs> it was in the Bible, so I was doing it. Obedient. Why did they leave it out there, Simona? Because somebody was being obedient to somebody else's husband. I know it's funny. Unless you Titus have got to straighten it out. Now you got to slap the phone out their hand and say, hang up, quit talking to Charles when you married the Bob. <laughs> Everybody ain't laughing. <laughs> Does that make sense? If it's in the Bible, somebody was doing it? Yeah. That's it. Somebody was being obedient to somebody else's husband. Yeah. They wouldn't have brought it up. That the word of God be not what? Blaspheme. Blaspheme. We're down to the young men. Yeah. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. Sober-minded. In other words, write this down. Govern your passions. You, you got to teach your child. You, you don't want your child flaming out. It ain't going to be funny then. Right. Your, your child flame out, know they was gifted, and they lose, they leave your house and fall between the cracks in society. Yeah. That ain't funny. You got to live with that. Yeah. Amen. My sister passed and sent me a picture of Cammy Carp. Why are you taking up two parking spots at his new job? I ain't mad at him. He working. Uh, and then the family, the expectation. That's stuff that, that, that is fuel for you when you get older. That you raise successful human beings. Huh? Not constantly unemployed, looking for jobs, fumbling, bumbling, making babies, getting locked up. Man, that ain't no good life. Everybody get quiet, huh? So you deal with them while they're young. Amen. Now, now, watch this now. They can, you, can, you can have everything in order, and the minute they leave, leave your house, they can become a bum. That ain't on you. And you tell everybody. Huh? And if, God forbid, the law gets them, you tell the truth. Right there. They got a back room on you. Go, Why is your son? He had no reason. Hug the wife. We provided everything. We, we provided for them, we had a beautiful house, childhood for them. He is in trouble because he chose to go. Who was that that got a, a oh, thank you. Who was that that, uh, remember Charles that was here? Uh, no, no, his son got, his son got killed. Matter of fact, Charles, what's that yeah, boy's yeah, name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember one, Charles that was on? Yeah, on TV. TV, was, TV. Yeah. Well, his son got killed because right. he could box, and his son got shot. Right. He got on TV and said, "My son is dead because of me." That's right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, crackhead said it on TV. My son is dead because of me. I was not in his life, and that's why he did. Usually, you get you get somebody. Five babies, six cars, no employment. Uh, he was uh, he was dead. Man, they tell more lies. Right. How somebody had six cars and no job? Yep. 
How you do that? Yeah. Look at that Jesse Smollett family. Y'all don't know he lying? Yeah. Your whole family, you know, you know nobody in that family with that last name gonna be able to work in Hollywood? Somebody should have stepped out of that family and said, he, that boy got issues, y'all. Right. To, 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 to take a line like that and take it down. Man, it's something in that family they trying to keep secret. Right. Somebody in the family said, you know what, that's my brother, but he lying. I know y'all don't believe that. No, really we all didn't. family. Well, guess what then? then if you're all family, this is going to sound real hard. Be a family at the funeral home then. Ooh. Be a family at the grave but they dump that dirt on. Right. You're going to be family. Be family all the way. Jump down in there. I ain't never said about it. I've been doing this for 33 years. I ain't never somebody jump in that hole. Be family. Never. Right. Come on. You, they sit around you out of order, disorder, getting by, and now another spirit was greater than theirs. Go ahead and be family. That's harsh, ain't it? That ain't being hard. Set them in order while they're alive. Amen. Why, why, why you alive? I told them the truth. But then, in order to do that, you got to be tightest on the Isle of Crete and go against your family. Right. Y'all out of order. Everybody here smell like weed. Everybody laying around here. Nobody here is in covenant. All y'all do is make sure you put your mouth on people that are successful. They're more successful than you because they have discipline and self-discipline. Look at us. And I'm not going I had a person do that this week. Family tried to put her on blast. She put them on blast. Yeah, man. Took in their face at their house. That's right. <laughs> Here is why. I'm never signing off on this. This is out of order. My dad's out of order. You out of order. Everything in this house is out of order. Only thing in this order is me. And I'm telling y'all, amen. And when I leave, I'm the only one leaving in order. That's right. All of us are eyewitnesses to generations. Watch this now. Turning their head. I don't see that. Oh, he was a good young man. He was shooting at everybody. Somebody finally shot back. I don't know why somebody was doing that. Yo, could you, let's, let's guess. He was selling drugs. He was on a video threatening everybody. Talking about doing this and doing that. And why, why? Somebody held him accountable for his music. That's why he did. I know. It's too hard. Well, if it's too hard for you, why don't you respect the people who God called to do it to set it in order then? Amen. Since you can't put it in order, expect, respect those who can. Because it's out of order. I got to finish. Young men, exhort to be sober-minded. Verse 7. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good work, in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, Read. that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Watch this. Let me finish with this. It goes like this. It's out of order. You said in order. Now there's a way to set it in order. You surprise somebody and say, you know what? Thank you. I was out of order. Or they'll come back and say, you know what? If I just would have listened, you told me the truth. I just didn't listen. I want to thank you for telling me the truth. So when she got her money, I said, take it and lay out on it. That means God trusts you. Yes. Yes. The tell those girls, those girls got lesbian vibe on them. Strong. What God sent you there for? The sign off, huh? Living at your family, living at your husband. Right. You are much a part of it. One thing to wear the shirt is another thing to build the foundation up by right. your example. Right. Huh? Watch this now. Here, here they are, man. I'm, I'm live and in color. 
when I saw that gay lifestyle, I looked at you and your husband and said, you know what? I want I want an eight day. I want a bread. I want to have. I, that's a, I saw your family and said, you know what? I can never produce that kind of family being with another woman. Right. Amen. Huh? I want to be like you. I want to smell like you. I want to look. I have never seen family. Now why? Now, now here's the deal. Now you got a bread now. But all of a sudden, you tell this person the truth. They want to tell everybody. Oh, now you got a, 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 a mad LGBTQ community. Now, Susie Buffett don't want to give you a dime. That's why she hate me. Who cares? I don't know you anyway. I know your mama. I know you. Now what you going to do? Oops. Because that child want to tell everybody. All, all, all of a sudden, is it 10,000 or is it 10 me? It's going to get down to people who know God can take care of them and people who talk about God can take care of them. You know, the difference between talking about God taking care of you and God really taking care of you. Huh? And all of a sudden, this girl gets up and says, you know what? I, I, I want to be like Marquis. That's what I want to be like. This is a beautiful family. And I was a... Uh, the uh, lesbian persuasion, but then I saw her, and I asked God, all of a sudden, oh, here come a man. All kind of groups coming out on you. She shouldn't be funded. They're, they're, they're born that way. Uh, that's like somebody telling her, amen, that she can't be black. I told you what they did. They tied it in the 1980s to ethnicity. That's how they were going to get their program across. And it worked. Tied into your ethnicity, which you really can't change. Right. Bring it to the mainstream. We gotta ease it in. We're gonna start, we're gonna put in music, we gonna if we get it on TV, we're gonna bring it in with a family. Any of us with numbers on us, we can tell you there was a day you never saw two men kissing. Never saw. It's always been a, it's always been in society. Y'all late. We talked about Greek and Roman history. It's all on bases, it's in museums, it's everywhere. That was a part of Greek society. An older man with a younger man. That ain't nothing new. Solomon said ain't nothing new under the sun. But now it ain't came out the closet. It's in everyday life. We're gonna tie it into ethnicity. We'll tie it into something that we know they can't change. Now they can have an opinion, but you can't. Come on, Bishop. Right. They go your grant. You go to Reverend So and So. Oh, here my pet. Oh, that's you know what? But you gotta. Uh, uh, I kind of evolved on that. You know. Uh, whatever, you know, you gotta look out for okay. I ain't changing. Amen. Dad, she just got the check. You already got a hymn against the wall. Hey, she could be God's answer. Amen. Huh? Amen. She got a mass in her right now that they don't know what it is. This is her testimony. She'll tell you. She's on assignment. Huh? So if she's on assignment, you're on assignment. You know how you shine? You ain't got the, th you shine by being the husband that those girls need. Good gracious. That's how you shine. Yeah, huh? They want family. Yes. So you're the only family I can watch, I'm just gonna watch you. Yeah. I'm gonna watch how you support her. I'm gonna watch how you happy. Are you I'm gonna watch all of a sudden, huh? All of a sudden, watch this now. I'm gonna mess with y'all before I just make it. I'm gonna go, man. Y'all got to fall out, well I'm gonna leave. Uh, all of a sudden, come on, use you stand up, AJ. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah, stand up. All of a sudden she come in. She's, she's leaning on, hanging on him. Just hanging on him. Just. All right. Same girl. Yeah. Same girl that had lesbian tendencies. 
Watch you. Watch how he love you. Watch how, huh? You ain't preaching. You ain't got no Bible. You just show them. It's show and tell. Amen. You show me, you tell them. Huh? And all of a sudden, watch it. She's watching your relationship with Brenda. But my girls told me that's what's wrong. So we never heard this shit with our mother. So if a girl can't talk to her mother, you are setting her up for some other female to come by. This is training day, y'all. So she watching that. So everything you got, I ain't never had. I ain't had no relationship with my mother. I ain't never seen no man. But I'm hanging around. I'm watching everything you do. What for the Keys Foundation? I'm suicide. Suicidal. Keys Foundation. How many of y'all know God will take care of her? All right. Whoever gave you the 10000 that ain't the last $10,000. That's right. Huh? How many of y'all know 10000 can become $10 million? Amen. If, if you who God. Yes. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yes, Suppose God wants to fund your order. Wow. Ooh, buddy. Does that make sense? Suppose God wants to fund Suppose he sent funding like he sent snowflakes. Yes. Come on, Jesus. Exactly. How many generations going to take to dig your way out of it? Go back to poverty. Hey. You know why I don't cancel? Don't even look for my name be scrolling. Because there's treasures in the snow. Yes. You owe God for digging you out of poverty. Yes. A poverty mindset. You owe God. Amen. For getting you told out of sin. Amen. For the word of God hooking up to your spirit and pulling you out. Amen. Every head bowed. We're about to go home. You can go fall out.